Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So we're going to see if this works. I have my other mic. We're going to see. I hope so. But what I'm going to do, if not, I'll be doing a voiceover. What I'm going to do is a background. Um, I want to do an art journal page. and I'm not quite sure exactly what I want to do, but I want to do an art journal uh, background. So I thought I would come on and do this. Um, this is something you can do uh whether it's a canvas atc card of course you just adjust this to what you're doing but first what i want to do is i want to cover uh, a page and since i already have gesso on this i'm not going to do that page let's just pick a random random page on my journal here this is actually for those of you who do not know this is my i am a big gustav klimt fan freak lover uh, I love it. So this is from 2011 and instead of throwing it away, I decided that I would start doing, using it as an art journal. So, you know, I've done different pages in it on the opposite pages, but left the art, if that makes sense. So today I'm going to just use a random, it's actually the week of the 23rd in May 2011 so just in case you're wondering so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my delightful Mod Podge mat I love it and I'm going to take this is a book I've used for years you can use any book I have many books sitting here but I thought let me just grab this and I'm just going to grab these wonderful words but I'm not going to do that today I'm going to pick a page that really kind of uh it doesn't mean anything to me in a sense. Um, I might pick Sabbath. These are all just so good. Sins. Mm. Adaptability. That's a good one. Plentiful. Freelance. Let's do. Let's do. Oh, la, 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 la. These are just such good words. Courtesy. Miracles. Don't know, noblesse e English. I don't know. I'm just gonna pick this one because I don't know what that means. I'm so dumb. I don't care. Okay, so I'm gonna pick that. And then I'm gonna pick, I love books because I, I go to the dollar store, I do all kinds of things, but these have like the index and all, and I don't need that. So it just gives me more pages. They also um, have blank pages in case, but Let's just, let's just work on this today. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my Mod Podge. I got to fill it again. I just filled it and I'm about three quarters down. So <laughs> three quarters down in many ways in my life. Okay. So I'm going to take some and we're going to rip this up. So I'm going to just rip it, not in tiny pieces. Let's just do, we'll do fours. Very simple. Maybe I need more, maybe I don't. We don't know. So we're gonna dip in and we're going to the page. And I want it to be, now let me tell you something. I'm using Mod Podge, which <clears throat> of course you can use this white school glue. You can use decoupage, you can do whatever. Now, when you ask me, is white school glue uh, archival, let me just tell you, I've had, uh, art journals for, geez, oh, Pete's, I don't even know what year we're in. What are we in? 2021? I mean, I, I started doing this kind of stuff, probably 98. And I started off with Mod Podge. I started off with white school glue. And I am a true believer in use what you got. And nowadays, especially, <clears throat> things are either sold out or you can't get them or you can't get to the store. Uh, use your school glue. I, I Nothing has yellowed on me yet. Now, let me just give you a little good hint. Elmer's uh, school glue that you get in the Elmer stick is archival. I don't know why. Let me show you what I'm talking about. And the washable glue stick. This is the disappearing one. There's many, but you can also get any glue sticks. It'll say archival for pictures, but these are great to use too. You don't, I mean, that'll be another video, but you just, you know, use this. It's great. It does the same kind of thing. So I'm going to cut. 
cover up over here. So I don't necessarily want the background. And you can see I've stripped them and got a little Puget going on there. With my brush, I got it all wet. Okay. So then down here. And I'll overlap because I want it overlapped. Now, let me tell you, I say this all the time, your library, use bookstores you can get these at. Uh, they get rid of books all the time. So it doesn't necessarily mean, my aunt gave me this book years and years and years, I mean years ago, because I was obsessed with angels and collecting them. Uh, I still am to a point. Um, and she gave it to me, and then I had it sitting here, and I read it, and I loved it, and I'm like, what am I, what am I doing keeping it, just keeping it here? I, I can keep it, you know um as you know just to have as a what do you say uh, as memory why not use it in my art which is something that i so love to do and one of the things i'm going to do i just haven't done it yet i want to make my aunt a small painting with some of these pages in it now when i get down here i'm not going to necessarily cover all the white you don't have to there's nothing really to have to cover over here. So the last thing I will do, and I don't care that little peep peep right there, it doesn't matter, but this little bit right here, I don't know what this word means. And I am probably, you guys are probably like, you are so stupid. Noblesse oblige. I don't know, but it doesn't mean anything to me. So I'm gonna go like this and we're gonna just put that piece. I love that little, like little thing on the bottom there. Now the nice thing, you know, Mod Podge dries quick. Uh, so does, um, I'm gonna scrape because I am the cheapest bitch you'd ever meet. Okay, so I want this to dry. I'm gonna use my heat gun, but you can leave it dry, it dries fast. If you use a glue stick, you don't even have to. Um, you don't even have to dry it, right? It will be dry, but we're gonna do it real quick. I'm not going to get rid of these because I might use them. No problem. My husband put up a video today of a painting he did in acrylic of an Irish, uh, <clears throat> like it's like a bridge kind of thing. And it came out so good. I love it. I said, I want to hang it up. To use dollar store canvases guys so it shows that they are good which i use them all the time but i use them a lot for this kind of stuff mixed media where you just keep you know piling up let me just take my hand and make sure no bubbles and if there are bubbles i don't care because um it's just going to be a background right i don't know what kind of what i'm going to do on top who knows I might like it so much I just want to use this. I don't know. Now, sometimes what I like to do, and I will do it in this case, if I can find my, I'm in the midst, what does Kelly do all the time? Moving her art room around. Not my desk, but just my stuff. And I'll show you in another video. But um, just moving my stuff around so I can get to more things and use them. And I realized I wasn't using my small, um, like paintbrushes and stuff. And I was like, where the heck are they? Now I'm going to use a gel pen because I can't find my Stabilo at the moment. It's nothing new. Um, however, you can use a Stabilo. And if you don't know what a Stabilo is, it, oh no, you know what I'll use? Maybe it's in here. Um, a Stabilo is a pencil. It comes in many colors. Black is what you usually see online of people using in their art. That is um, water soluble. But if you don't have that, use use um, your water soluble crayons, uh, color pencils, all the things, right? But I think what I'm going to use is I have these. Uh, they're called Graphitone, and they're water soluble, and kind of the same kind of thing. This is very dark because apparently at the time I think I bought a pack of a lot. But what I'm going to do. 
is I'm going to go in and I'm going to, oh, she ain't going over Mod Podge today, this one. Maybe I, no, she ain't. So we need, we need, the Stabilo writes over everything. And because this has a little bit of, um, yeah. Now, I'm not going to be mad if I go around and kind of do this kind of stuff. I can dip my finger a little bit and see how it, Kind of just adds a little bit of um brings out that texture and that's kind of what i want oh yeah do you see that watch this say what and it's just giving you so you know maybe you don't have this right maybe you don't have a stabilo maybe you don't have watercolor whatever take a little bit of paint that you have in a, a dark color or whatever color you want i like doing the dark um i'm gonna dip it yeah um and then just kind of run it over i just it just adds a little bit brings out that texture a little bit and i'll still go over with my uh some my brush or my finger just to kind of add so yeah, please go check out my husband's video. I'll link it at the end. It's the video before this. It came out really good. And I would really appreciate you guys um, just showing him a little bit of love. It means the world to me. Um, he does it to help with his depression. And um, you guys know all that we've been through. So, you know, it just kind of, it just helps him. he takes care of me so well and and my daughter and always has so if you guys would just stop it for a second just you know just for now all right so now you look at that and you're like what girl are you doing so i'm going to tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to take this rag right here and i'm going to just go in and get because remember we kind of lighten this up but it just makes it look look i'm a grunge girl let me sing some Pearl Jam. I'll gladly do it. But, you know, this is what we're going to do today. Grunge is my thing. So let me show you. So we have this. Now I'm going to dry it for a second. And you can see how that just changed it right there. That just made it vintage looking, right? So you can work on top of this now. You can take, maybe you have a doily or a paper doily that you can scrunch up and glue it down and then do that on top and just like lace, you know, like really, really cool, which is a way I can go if I had lace sitting here, which I don't. And I'm not going to worry that it's completely dry because I'm just going to work on top of it. But let me show you a few things. So first, I'm going to take some red and this is called Alizarin Crimson. This is from Folk Art. I sure hope this is recording my voice. I don't have to do it over again. Let's see. And this is a um, nonstick mat, right? So I'm just going to squeeze it a little bit like that. It's a, it's essentially red. And that's where I'm going with this. I'm going to rinse my brush off. But I want it to be wet. And I'm going in like this. We're going to make what they call a mess. Now, I'm going to hold this up a little bit. A little bit wetter. Turning my brush both ways. And look when I hit it, you can see some splatter, right? So you see why I want it so wet? Can you put the paint on here and um then squirt it? Of course. You can squirt whenever you want. You can do this, but see, now I'm gonna take my I'm just gonna squirt a little bit this underneath so if it runs but I want to concentrate in here like hang on I'm gonna make it go up here and make that work so I'm gonna make it 
I clean this up? Put it up here. Where is that the other one? Like this just so I don't so you guys know I'll end up all over me and then I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just help that a little bit and let that run now what color can I add to this to make it a little bit of purple going on since purple is my favorite color I want you to see where I did the Mod Podge I did it a little thicker when I was putting it down if you noticed I did it on top and you can see how that red with that water really separates that almost like a crackle, right? Always play with your stuff because you never know what, you know, what's going to happen, how it's going to hit, right? So this color is Brilliant Blue. It's not even open yet. What's she going to do now? That's called me preparing for a video. And I'm going to start some of that out, and we're going to do the same thing. Clean your brush out. It doesn't have to be all the way, but get it some. There we go. Well, that's brilliant. Blue. What do I do? All right, let's tap. And what we'll do is just see if this works, if it runs. Oh, yeah, I can see it starting the purple there. Can you? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty on the violet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush and these drips down here, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to grab some of that red. I'm going to mix it here. And as you can see, the color is getting darker, right? So we don't have to waste this delicious red that's falling. And you can see, can you see how that's getting purple down there? How pretty? I might have scooch that around there. I'm going to scooch some up here. Around these edges. Now I can make it thicker and leave and really have drip marks, which I will probably do at the end. And I'm going to leave some of this white. I'm not going to continue to go. I'm probably going to wipe some of uh, even this off in the middle, but I'm just going to have these layers here. Just use your brush and tap it with just plain butter if you want it to go a little bit more. And then I'm going to turn it opposite way and give it a tap. Can I also tell you guys that I'm obsessed with pouring lately? <laughs> I just, I told Dave, I'm like, I want to set up in the kitchen on the table so I can do like good recordings of me pouring the big. I'm obsessed. Okay, so I'm going to take a paper towel. Oh, God, she ain't touching that paper towel. Let's take a rag, because <laughs> when I move that paper towel, it's just going down. Oh, I just love this. But we're going to make some texture. We're just going to push. It could be a paper towel, whatever. This is just a, a uh, my, not Microsoft. What's it called? You know. Oh, yeah. Now, yes, it soaked up all that, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna go back this way, and I love I'm gonna make like a and then I'm gonna do a little bit more red. What did I do with my red? I was going to take white and smear it down, but I, I just decided it's not best. So take some red. Just 
Okay. And I'm just making, you can see the shapes, no big deal. I love how that purple soaked in to, you could see like where the Mod Podge was and where it wasn't. So like when you see here, I didn't put Mod Podge on top of that paper or here, but where I did put Mod Podge, you could see it lifted up, but it gave me texture, which I'm going to show you. And down here it didn't. So I'm just going to lay some of this around. And let me show you up close. You can see, I know you can see my thing, he has to fix that, but look, you could see the like texture from what I set on there. And all those colors in there soaking in. And then we're just gonna do this. I want these triangles, they don't have to stay triangles, but that's where I want it more concentrated. Because remember, you can always take away, like, like you just did, it's wet. You can put your paper towel on it, your rag, and um, take it away and then add more back if you want it. Or if you don't like something, you can do that. It makes it, you know, fun to create. But see, now I dried it, and because it's acrylic paint, it's going to stay on there. So then I have red on here. Down here. I'm going to do it this way. Add some more red, and then I'm going to drip it. Going the opposite way. But I really want this thick. Big as a brick. Okay. Just give me two scoops. Yeah. Now I'm going to take my hair dryer heat gun, and you don't have to, it'll, it will uh, dry quick for you anyway, especially with the water, but because I'm on the video, and I want you waiting a year and a day for me. Oh yeah. Look at that. You can push that off so it doesn't stay in there. Look at that. And what I liked, if I knew what the word meant, was I can still see the word. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody tell me what that word means. Oh, but look at that. Look how cool. Look at that. Now, obviously, it depends on what way your book is. So I don't, like, it doesn't matter to me. This is obviously the way it was. So I'm going to come down this way with some red. But it doesn't, it still looks cool. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? I'm going to rinse off one more time and then I'm going to do the drip right there a little bit and then show you what I want to do. Just a little bit of red. I don't care if it mixes with the blue that much, so I'll just go here. Go this way. Like that. And good. Here we go. Oh, yeah. And put that near there. Like, look what happens. It like pushes it all around and makes it lighter and darker. And I just, I love it. Nice. Try this off and then we'll go on to the next thing. And this is how I layer. Now, everybody layers differently, and it depends on my mood, what kind of layering I do. And by layering, I mean, just like I put on that first, uh, the first paint, right? And then I put the pat the thing down to soak it up. But you can still see all that was underneath there. So that's like the bottom, well, the bottom layer actually is the text. And then that next layer is these things that are, you know what I mean? And then this becomes the next layer, right? 
So, you know, there's a lot, a lot that you can do. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to use gesso, but of course you can use white paint and I don't see my white paint here and I'm not going to play around too much. Okay. Let me put this here. I should probably wipe this up. Now, if I was a smart girl, and I'm not, I would have my paper sitting here to where I could squish all that up. Maybe that's what I'll do on another page. Just to show you. Because I hate wasting. I really do. So I'll just push it, you know, push it hard. Let me see. Is it anything spectacular? No, but it's starting another page for me. And you can mush it around for it. Look at that. So I can even, maybe I want some drift here. See, those are clumpy. We don't need that. And now I just have another page started. No big whoop. And I love it because now when I go through, I can be like, oh, okay, I can work on here. Oh. I just don't want it to stick. Now let's go back to our page. Where'd you go, my friend? Where'd you go, my friend? She's so disorganized. Why are we watching her? No. <laughs> it's all right. I enjoy. I enjoy. I enjoy my life. Okay. Isn't that tragic? Well, I think no, I just took this and wiped this up. So because now for our next layer. Can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess? Okay. I'm taking me some gesso. The proof of it. I am not gonna water that down because um I don't need to. I don't want to. I want it to be as opaque as I can get there. Now, here's some fun things. Well, let me show you. Anybody use laundry detergent? This is from Tide. You know laundry detergent? Eat these. These are good for pouring. These are good for, um, which you'll see when I do more videos. I use this to pour. doing here okay so and then with pouring and I'll look we got these little spouts so oh, that's a whole I'm gonna do a whole other video I shouldn't have shared my secret but very exciting like that and then hello your sewer you know you got these and why am I doing white well I'm doing white because I want to be able to break up some of that color. So if I work on top of it, I don't have to. Sometimes I'll water that white down and just take it over all of it and then wipe some of it off. So you'll see some of the color, but not all, but you'll predominantly see white to work on top. But I don't want to do that this time. Look at that. What are we even saying? Lighten up that down there. A little bit there. A little bit there. I mean, how freaking cute. Now, maybe you don't have circles or you don't have, I mean, you can use lids to stuff. You can use, um, there's that's flat. You can use that part. But what I also like is these, which I get at Michael's or whatever. I love these. They're cheap and easy. You're like, yeah. And then look at this that we get. Look at that. Isn't 
just gives you some new, you know, different shapes. And if you don't have anything, just use what you got. So this is my background. I know, spectacular, right? It's just a fun way to play with your supplies. Dry it. Now it's in here. So now what? If you want to see me do any more backgrounds, because I'm going to be doing a bunch in here, let me know down below. And I will be glad as I continue to do them to record them. Let me know if you just want to sped through, if you want to hear me talk, or, uh, you know, I just babble through it. I don't say anything, you know, but let me know. Um, because now what I can do is I can paint a girl on here or whatever I want, whatever I want. And I love it. So let me know what you guys think down below. And if you guys do backgrounds, tag me, share me, share it, put your link down below so I can see your videos. Uh, if you do a background like this, uh, I would love to see it. I'm sure other people would as well. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I hope that y'all can hear me through here and I don't have to do a voiceover. Uh, I love you guys so very much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.